What's up, everyone? Uh, welcome back to the Captain Morris Productions uh, YouTube channel. And today we have this old Netgear router. It is a very old one meant for a dial-up modem. Uh, that's what I did when I tried to set it up. Yes, it still works, surprisingly. But it doesn't accept a normal type of signal. So we're gonna take this one apart real quick. So first thing is to look under the foot pads to see if there are screws, because there are no visible screws in the first place. Uh, so, there are four underneath these foot pads. Uh, now, take your tool kit and get out your, uh, your Torx drivers, screwdrivers. This one, let's find out what kind of screwdriver it accepts. We're going to try out the T10, which is very popular. Nope, too big. Uh, we'll try something smaller, maybe it. This one looks to be T9, let's try that. Maybe that will fit. Perfect. So, undo these four screws. Sorry, I was, a bit, I was a bit out of frame. Alright, last one. I'll just use this as a screw tray. I don't like searching my whole table for screws when I uh, have to clean up after a video. Alright, there we go. That should pop right off. There it is. And now we are in the router. The whole assembly should lift out of the router, like this. Everything should just fall apart. Uh, yeah, maybe not this, but whatever. There's a small band of paper in here. Peel that off just so you can see it. It shows you what's being displayed at the moment. There it is. It'll just show those. This is that strip of paper where it says Netgear and it says wireless router and shows you what, what band of network you're on. Oh no. And then here's just a plastic uh, piece that just, it's kind of a style piece here. Now, it is an antenna. It's, Carefully pull that off. Good, I didn't break the connector this time. Uh, push down on this clip. Well, I'm trying to. Guess it doesn't work to release it. Mm. Ah, to release it, there are two screws on the bottom. Switch out our driver once again to a Phillips head. I would say, hmm, this one. It says PH0. I, uh, there are two screws, one on each side. And there it is. Inside of a router. 
I don't know what this is for. I never saw something connected to it, but eh, whatever. <clears throat> Power, Ethernet, and internet in. From that, uh, that old dial-up modem, you know. Now we're gonna switch over to a flathead screwdriver. And here's why. I'm gonna pop this lid off, because yes you can. It will damage it, but I'm not planning to keep this. All right, there it is. Some more chips for the people who want to see it. So there you go, that's the inside of it. Yeah, here's the other side. Yep, there's the main board. I'm gonna put that aside. So yeah, that's a teardown of a Netgear uh, WG R614 V5 uh, wireless router. Uh, when was it made? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. So there you go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.